So, hey, uh, back to the original intent of the Big Irish blog. Um, you know, I know there was a lot of stuff going on with the whole uh, healthcare thing, and I'm still going to talk about it some. So, you know, that annoys you. I apologize. But I've got, I've got something started, and a lot of people are paying attention, so it's going to kind of warm in there. However, I highly recommend that uh, if you want, either start following me on Facebook, if you're not already, or follow me on uh, G+. Uh, we'll be doing more expansive blogging there. The bigger, bigger events of, of this quest I may do a more elaborate video post about. But for the most part, I'll just say that, uh, you know, as of today, my official paperwork actually got processed on the healthcare.gov site. Um, I was immediately able to download a, a PDF report. The three salient points are, no, I don't qualify for any assistance, as expected, because I'm supposed to be covered by Medicaid, which Alabama won't offer. I am exempt from any non-coverage penalties. That was nice to clarify, you know, to get an official notification. So, you know, there's at least that. And the local community health care center may be able to help me thanks to the ACA expanding funding for them. So, you know, I'm gen I'm not just trying to look how bad it is. I'm trying to find the answers. So I'm going to check them out. Uh, so if you follow me on Facebook G+, G you're going to more about it. Um, I actually shared the part of the notice word for word. So if you're curious as the kind of documentation that they're sending out to people, you know, I, I put some stuff up there. Next conventions. King Kong, Water Robins, Georgia. That's November 2nd and 3rd. Uh, the down below in the show notes is the link Uh And then Mace, uh, that was a little iffy, but I'll just say some amazing people stepped up to make sure we actually be able to get to that. So we are definitely going to be at Mace. And at the same time, I'll also be poking online to AetherCon, the online con, uh, and doing a panel with them. I'll also, Evil Beagle Games is supporting them. I'll see, there was a major snafu with the editing process for Legends Unleashed, which ripped out the formatting from the document. Uh, that's got to be resolved in order to get the book laid out. So we're tackling that over this weekend. Uh, matter of fact, as soon as I click off here, I'm getting back to it. Uh, but after that, the book should finally be able to enter layout and art. I've also begun serious work on the guidebook one, Magic and Cosmology. So you guys just want to know that. Um, I hope to also spend some time next week delving into some of the personal reward stuff. I know a lot of you have been sort of sitting around very patiently. I will go ahead and tell you right now, and more than likely, I really won't be delving into serious work with that until after the new year. Um, just because I want to give it its due, but I really got to get some books in the pipeline. It's the revenue thing, guys. I'm sure you understand that. And but at the same time, I intend to incorporate what you guys have come up with in product releases. So that's so I've got to look and see what needs to go where, and that's going to be a process. Uh, some huge news about Evil Beagle Games, Savage Mojo, and uh, our respective properties is in the pipeline. This all ties into the whole God Strike Tempest thing, but. It's, it's it's huge. I'm really excited about this. This is going to be some good stuff. So stay tuned for that. Yes, I know. I'm teasing you guys again. <laughs> uh, let's see. The return of the Friday Roundup. Uh, I know I'm kind of inconsistent with this, but hey, we're getting it done today. So here we go. First off, something that I have not done as a pick of a day or as a, anything else, but I just want to point this out. It's something called You Do Terrain. Um, it is so freaking cool. It's basically building blocks for gamers. The tagline really says it all. We make terrain, making it awesome is what you do. And imagine just however you put it together and stack it can make, you know, cutaway interiors of of office buildings or a cool little castle. I mean, it's just, it's a neat bit of business. So check out the link. All right, for the first of, I only had finished to get three uh, picks of the day done this week because of the whole traveling from Ohio thing. But there's three pretty cool ones. Vault of the Draco Lich, the first official release for D&D Next, also known as D&D 5e. It was designed to be run for four groups at once, like a little mini interactive thing, but a single group can have a lot of fun with it. It was done for uh, you know RPG Day uh, this year, earlier, and it's very much a self-contained piece of work, so you can, it's a great way to preview the next-gen rules. Tremulous, finally, at long last from Reality Blurs, is available. Uh, it's based on the Apocalypse World engine, and it's going to get a lot of attention, both for an incredible Kickstarter that was done, and then all the top designers and, and, and people in the industry who just absolutely fallen in love with what uh, Sean Preston has done with this thing. So it's out there, and it's definitely worth a look. Uh, Lovecraftian storytelling horror, but just a, it's a different kind of animal, so definitely worth your look. And then Grammel's Time Zero uh, is another highly anticipated release. This is basically Time Cops, uh, but it's done in the Savage World system, so it's going to have that cool, you know, pulpy cinematic thing going on. Good job on Peter and the rest of his gang. Not only for a cool concept using an awesome net rule system, but also I just want to point out that uh, when they put the original cover out and it had one of those ridiculous cheesecake, the woman's mostly naked and doing one of those poses that's physically impossible, a lot of people said, guys, uh, and they immediately said, oh, 
oh, okay, well, let's not do that then. And they put a much better cover together, which was a much more reasonable, well-dressed kind of uh, lead female uh, agent on the cover. So I just got to give a props to them. It's, it's for no other reason than their response to the community uh, and, and, and trying to uplift things and that whole not doing the whole demeaning of women in our, in our hobby. It's just one of the things I'm just really, really uh, happy with that and good job on them for that. Okay, for Kickstarters, I'm only into two right now. Bones 2, crap tons of minis for a steal, enough said. Well, except for the fact that I've only got 24 hours left. So if you want in on that one, whoo, better look now. And then the Strange RPG, Money Cook and Bruce Cardell made a cosmic mind trip of an RPG based on the engine used in Numenera. Again, enough said. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, have a great weekend. See you more next week. Oh, that's the camera. I always forget where that thing is.